Gary, is the high-end wine business just a complete hoax? <laughs> Has anyone actually ever tasted the oak? What does oak taste like? That's a great question, Steph. Uh, is it a hoax? It's as much of a hoax as the art world is. Uh, it's as much of a hoax as a high-end restaurant that charges you know, $10,000 a head for a once-in-a-lifetime meal. It is the classic example of supply and demand, my dear. And coming from a you know, business-oriented TV show and living in the world that you're in, is, is a stock price a hoax? Uh, the answer is yes and no. To me, it's not a hoax because I live a very basic life of supply and demand. I think what I get paid to speak on stage is a hoax, and I did for a while until I realized, well, not really, because I'm compensated for what I do for that event. And so, you know, does an actor who gets paid $8 million for a movie but never gets brought up like an athlete for being overpaid, is that a hoax? Yes. And no, when you start understanding that actor brings people into the theater or makes people watch and then they sell advertising against it. It's all an arbitrage. And so the wine world, uh, do people, back to the basic question, can you taste differences in wine? Absolutely. I live it. I mean, I can taste the difference between an $80 wine and a $10 wine pretty consistently. Can I taste the difference between a $1,000 wine and a $500 wine or a $1,000 wine and a $100 wines? A lot of times, no. The beauty of wine is everybody's got their own palate, back to art or music, right? Is it a hoax that an EDM DJ gets a ton of people into a place in Sweden? For me, it, well, actually, I've gotten more into EDM, but like, theoretically it is. Uh, but you know, and that's it. It's brand, it's supply and demand, it's how the game works. And so the answer is, I don't think it's a hoax. Do, but if you're watching this show right now and you don't appreciate the game, so here's a good piece of advice. Let's get into real good advice. Don't drink good wine. Let me say that one more time. Don't put yourself in a position to understand why it's not a hoax. Don't sit first class because then you realize it's not a hoax because you like it better than the middle seat and coach. Don't get front row seats to a ball game then you understand that it's not a hoax compared to sitting in the upper deck. It's context, baby. And so the bottom line, I, that made me happy. Uh, <laughs> the bottom line is it's all perspective, it's all supply and demand, but that's what it comes down to. You start understanding why these things fetch the dollar amounts they fetch when you actually taste it versus you theoretically complain about it.